Hi, it's Dee Dee Pop, and I wrote a song called The Cricket Alphabet Song. It's on Coco Melon, and a lot of people have asked me how to play the song on piano. I wrote it on piano, and it's in um, A flat, and I'm going to teach you how to play it right now on piano. So here we go. six different chords. We've got an A flat chord, which I call an Oreo chord, chocolate on the outside and cream in the middle. We also have a D flat chord, which is an Oreo chord, and an E flat chord, which is an Oreo chord. Sometimes I go to the suspended E flat sus4, where I raise the third up to the fourth and then come down back to the third. And sometimes I have a B flat minor chord, which is the two chord. Um, also, a few times in this song, I use the A flat chord, but I use the first inversion of it. So it's like taking the A flat and putting it on top. It's still an egg. Think of this as a fried egg. Think this is a sunny side up egg. Uh, it's, it's got the same components. It just looks different. So in the left hand, we're going to echo the right hand. So if you were playing an A flat chord in the right hand, you're just going to play a single note in the left hand. And if you're going to play a D flat chord in the right hand, you would play a single note in the left hand. This is acting as the bass guitar or the bass or uh, a cello perhaps. This is providing the harmony and together it makes the rhythm. Um, let's start with the introduction. This song goes introduction, verse, chorus, interlude, verse, chorus, outro. Um, the introduction is think of this E flat chord and we're going to invert it like we did with our sunny side up egg. We're going to take this E flat and pop it on the top and lift it from there. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to take this G, pop it on the top, and lift it from there. So here's second inversion, E flat. And we're going to remove the root of the chord, which is the note in the middle, the E flat. And we're going to play this major six four times together. We're going to start with a bass note to offset it. So it sounds like this. One and two and. One and two and three. So on the third beat, you're going to stay here. So this is really easy. One, two, three, four. This is going to start left, right, right, right together. You're going to come down to the D flat. Then you're going to walk down to the F and to the E flat. And then you're going to play the top, which is the top of an A flat chord. And then the A flat and then the C and then the E flat. So you're rolling through this E flat chord. So it sounds like this. And it's syncopated, it's not, it's not. It's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So a lot of things happen on the upbeat on the and. And then Oftentimes, I put in this suspended from A flat to G, it sounds like this. So that's the intro, okay? Later, when we get to the interlude, it's almost exactly the same thing, but the melody is a little different. I go all the way up to the high C, and then the low C, and then back to the E flat. 
So the first time we went to the A flat, C, E flat. During the interlude, we go all the way up to the high C, and then I actually play the melody So that's D flat, F, walk it down, and then walk up from the F, F, G, A. What I did there was instead of just playing the single notes, crickets sing you to sleep now. That's the part I'm singing. You can also drape the harmony, which is the B flat minor chord, down from the top note, as long as this note's on top, it kind of gives it, it fills it out a little bit more. Okay, so now we have the interlude and we have the intro. Let us work on the verses. So, it starts with an A flat chord. I try to use voice leading whenever I can. You can play this song in root position. It would be like A flat here and maybe down here like this. Hear the crickets. You can play quarter notes, then it goes to the B flat minor. Out the window. That's the E flat. And you repeat that little sequence, B flat minor. Hear them singing. E flat. Back to the A flat. From your cozy. And then E flat sus. Then resolve it. So you can go through the whole song this way, playing root position, but it's nice to do voice leading. And voice leading, as some of you might know, is you find the prettiest chord so you don't have to jump from here to here to here. Instead of doing that, you would do this. You would keep as many common notes as you could and do as little movement to create a nice melody on the top. And this is how I play it. Hear the crickets, A flat, B flat minor, out the window, E flat, E B flat minor, back to E flat minor, from A flat, you're cozy, and then the sus chord, bend. Okay, now the second half of the verse is the four chord, which is the D flat chord. Listen, and now you're going to go to the A flat chord, but in the left hand, instead of playing the root, it's important to play the C here. Closely, and then you walk down to the B flat minor. You may hear. So you have this pretty descending line. Listen closely, and you may hear the. Now you're going to do D flat letters. That's D flat, E flat. And then the end is going to go the A flat. You're going to keep this A flat chord in the right hand, and the left hand come up to the C. Okay, so it's an A flat chord with C in the bass, so it's as the crickets sing your bedtime. D flat. Now here, on the big uh, turnaround chord, before we go to the chorus, the right hand is going to stay on the D flat major chord, and the left hand is going to come up to the E flat. Alpha. So you're going to do late night alpha. The right hand is, is pretty easy. Late to the A flat chord, which is the one chord. Then you jump into the chorus and it starts on the five. I come up here and I, there's a couple, there's many options. When you play a lullaby, you want to capture the vibe and the relaxing, calm nature of the song. Sometimes that, for me, especially when I'm writing, I, I It's just a very repetitive, calm, vibrational sound. So what I'm actually doing here is I'm playing the top of an E-flat chord, this. And you can play the whole E-flat chord and then an A-flat chord. And that's the bulk of the chorus is that. There's a turnaround at the end. So you can play it like that or you can rock it back and forth like... Y, Z. 
flat mi minor to the E chord, E flat to the A flat. So that's the turnaround. Let the cricket sing you to sleep now. And if you want to play that, it's B e flat, C, D flat, F, E flat, F, G, A flat, which was in the interlude. Let the cricket sing you to sleep now. Then the second verse is the same as the first. sing the go to sleep and not sing the alphabet part so you play the alpha part like this go to sleep alphabet song. Please have fun with that and I hope you get to play it with your kids and um, maybe even show them how to do it. Uh, it's a beautiful song and I'm so happy that um, it's so loved. I wrote it for my little babies and now they're a lot older. So um, have a beautiful day, sweet dreams, and I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I will create some new tutorials for some of my other songs. Please write in the comments which songs you'd like to learn and I will be happy to show you how to play them. Remember, any dream is possible. Bye.